The 6.3 patch is fast approaching and it's a good time to go back and pick up all the 6.2 and 6.25 mounts that have come out in the past few months. If you're up for some collecting, while working on a few going away soon projects in FF14, you're in the right place. This guide does not include the store mounts that have come out, and instead we're only focusing on the ones obtainable in-game right now. My name is Ivona from MomsDen.com and if this is your first time around here, subbing is a good idea. I make simple FF14 guides that'll answer some of your questions in no time and give you quick in-game wins. I also live stream on this channel a lot, so if you're a fan of awesome communities, in-game and other highlights, I'm sure I'll see you around. The first one is actually the Hippo Cart, which came out in 6.15 as a purchasable reward from the Arcosadara Tribal Quests. This one will cost you 18 Arcosadara Pana after you reach the highest reputation with the Elephant People, and you can get it from Ganta and Tavnir. Then we've got Filgia, which is the reward from PvP Series 2 level 25. If you haven't gotten this one yet, it's time to start queuing your Crystalline, Frontlines, or Rival Wings and work towards leveling up your series as there's still time to get this beauty. If you've been doing your Unreal Trials or you've lucked out on your Wanderous Tales, you can get your own Wanderous Lanner for either one Chloe's Gold Certificate of Commendation or 600 Fall Leaves. Alternatively, you can purchase it from the Market Board for about 8 million gil, should your pockets be so deep. Starlight Steed is the one you shouldn't be missing out on, as it's a reward from the Starlight Celebration, which is ongoing right now. If you still haven't done the event, I've got a guide for you in the description of this video that'll help you obtain this gorgeous little thing. The event ends on December 31st at 3pm GMT, so hurry up and get yourself a stag. Speaking of events, there are plenty of mounts to obtain through Moogle Treasure Trove if you haven't gotten them yet. They include Hollowed Kamu, Albino Karakul, Falcon, which is only available now and you can't get it in-game after the event, Drake, Direwolf, Xantos, Anbar, Dark Lanner, as well as Suffolk Lanner. If you're new to the Moogle event, there's a guide in the description you can take a look at and get right on, as the event will be live until the beginning of the 6.3 patch, which is January the 10th. If you're a raider, there's a gorgeous reward waiting for you once you're done with Abyssos the 8th Circle Savage, and that is the Sunforged Mount, so have fun with that if you're up for a nerve-wracking experience. The easier one to get from the raids is the Lynx of Imperious Wind, which drops from Storm's Crown Extreme. You can only acquire it through the actual trial at the moment, but if you collect 99 tokens, keep them on hand for when the mount is available for purchase from the vendor in Razadhan. Next up are the three mounts you can buy from the Island Sanctuary. The first one is Gar Long GL2, which is a gorgeous motorbike, and it'll cost you 24,000 seafarers' calories. You can only get this one after you've gotten to rank 10 on your island, but for the next three, there is no such requirement. For 12,000 seafarers' carries each, you can get the Island Eggplant Knight, the Island Onion Prince, and the Island Mandragora. If you've got yourself a gatherer, you can get started on your Mew Missive Mount, which you can purchase for 18 Omicron Omni Tokens at the Tribal Quest vendor after you max out the reputation with Omicrons. If you've been doing the Criterion Dungeons, you can purchase this Sildan Throne for 100 Sildan Silvers from the vendor in Old Trilion. If you're not into the new dungeon mode, you can get it for about 14 million gil on the market board, at least here on Lich. And last but not least, if you enjoy the new dungeon mode but would like to get the easier and arguably the better one, there's Silky, that you'll get from the achievement Dig Deep, the Sildin Subterrain, requiring you to explore all of the variant dungeon paths. Do remember to read Silky's description for an extra dose of horror. That's all I could think of when it comes to the 6.2 and 6.25 mounts. What's your favorite one and which ones are you still working towards? Let me know in the comments and if you haven't subbed yet, make sure to do that now so you don't miss out on more easy FF14 wins. Massive thanks to everyone supporting the channel and especially our alphas like Kathy Spear on YouTube memberships as well as Andyman, Space Cadet Rick and Elijah Baker over on Patreon. If you'd like to join them and keep the content going, all the links are in the description of this video. Enjoy mount hunting, have fun in the new patch, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!